Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and our absolutely wonderful Hopeful Horizons where I am continuing with the beta version of Planet Zoo which yes I know ended a very long time ago in fact we're almost to the point where the full game's gonna release I'm so excited but I am doing my best to learn everything I can about the beta and really lean into it while it is here so we are carrying on and I'm really proud we've had birds birds here in our horizons oh, i am so happy we have had the addition of new ostriches we've got our wee little baby ostriches we've had the addition of our wonderful peafowl and now i just really need to continue building up our populations trying to get enough animals that we can get those conservation credits trying to get enough money that we can make the whole area really really nice oh my gosh this is so cool ah we closed because our vendor is too tired. I need another vendor, I think. <laughs> Look at this. Oh no, and we have trash. <gasps> do I even have trash cans? We have so much to do, you guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we don't even have benches over here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and put down a couple, a couple like a recycling and a zoo bin. Do I have, is that a recycling bin? What did I just put down? This is a planet zoo bin. I want a recycling bin. We'll just put those right over here. We could have, oh my gosh, security cameras. And look, benches. Oh, we need some benches over here so people can come and sit and just enjoy the beauty that are our peafowl gardens. So they can relax, hopefully have a good time, maybe donate a little bit of money. There we go. Oh, they can see my peafowl from over here. How cool is that? I'm gonna put down another donation box then. <gasps> Our peafowls have collected $900? Oh, that's fantastic. Just from that one donation box, too. All right, there we go. More donation boxes. Let's put a little lake right here. And I'll make like a cute little sculpting. Intensity, let's do 50. Smaller size. It's gonna take me a hot minute. <laughs> let's do more intensity. I'm gonna smush the grass down like this. That's so cool. And we'll make like a cute little pond right over here. Nice! Oh, that was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. And I think I can even come over and like smooth the edges out a little bit. Very nice. And then we can come into the nature settings. I could even put some bamboo. Oh, ooh, could I get really, I think I could get really low placed bamboo. If I do this, look at that, that would be so cool. That's one way that I could get bamboo in to really look like, oh, okay, if I like put this here, let's go with this bamboo. So if I put this bamboo here, drop it down there, scooch it a little more over here. What does it look like? <gasps> That's so cool. I can just transform the bamboo into my own little bushes. That's so perfect. Oh, what's going on? Okay, our peafowl are fine. And the water treatment facility. Mechanic is being requested for the water treatment facility. All right, good, good. How are all of you? Doggo is grown up. Strange Chicken is now eight years old. Mia is over here. The alpha female taking care of things. We've got our little ostrich boys, little ostrich babies. Oh, I'm so freaking happy. We're actually making some decent progress here. And can I find a male reticulated giraffe for my lovely female before we are no longer able to breed her? That is the question. So these guys at age 25 will be their estimated age of sexual sterility when they no longer will have babies. That's also about their life expectancy. So I definitely want to try to have some giraffes. So can I find a male reticulated giraffe? I'm really hoping. In the animal market, people sell them for so much money. Like, I, it's so just completely out of hand. Look at that. How am I gonna, oh my gosh, like it's gonna be a thousand before I can get anywhere close to being able to get a reticulated giraffe. Oh, my beloved Navia, I wish I could get you a mate, but we're gonna have to just get more and more animals to make that happen. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, so really the answer is more animal babies. Like no joke, we need more animal babies. 
Also, I kind of want to come over here and let's actually edit this barrier. Edit barrier. I kind of want to change this whole barrier to wooden logs because I really am loving that look. I love how easy it is to upgrade things as we go on. And how do I get, I think we need more staff. Like where is Everett? Okay, Everett's working on stuff. Can I move Everett over here to clean this up? Everett just hanging around cleaning litter. Okay, yeah, Everett's on it. In fact, let's go ahead and rename Everett because Everett is going to be one of our very essential, we'll call them zoo designers so that we'll be able to, there we go, a zoo designer named Galaxy after Galaxy Wolf. So we're going to go with Designer Galaxy there. And he is going to actually be working on, uh, what happened over here? Did somebody vandalize that? Oh my gosh, they'll vandalize my benches? You jerks, I am trying to give you like everything precious and wonderful and this is how you repay me. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I have to remember that can happen. All right, let's put this bamboo down and then into the ground it goes. Oh, isn't that awesome? I love this. <laughs> And because the animals actually don't want to have a lot more plants in their habitat, we can instead come over and put them right outside where people can enjoy. Let's scoot you over a little bit. Where people can enjoy looking at them. All right, some bracken over here, some bracken over there. Um, we're making a lovely little garden along here. Okay, we're gonna want to get more money and more animals. So what other animals can we get that aren't gonna be too much? Can I get more exhibit animals? Hmm. Because I've heard that's just the way to go. A lot of people have been saying exhibit animals, exhibit animals. They only cost money. And let's, I mean, let's give it another go. Maybe I can make this happen. Let's try with, um, a Brazilian wandering spider. So let's check the Zoopedia and let's see, Brazilian wandering spider, maybe all of the research is, oh, wait, 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 I can come up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I think about this before? You guys have probably been yelling at me to do this. Yes. Please tell me that I can dive over. Ah, where's the research option? Where's my research option? Oh, I got so excited thinking that I could finally get some research going on my poor, my poor, poor Goliath frogs. Let's try again. Come on, Goliath bird eater, Goliath frog research. I wonder if my vet needs to be a higher level. Is that the thing? Can I not do research on exhibit animals if my vet isn't highly trained? Let's train her up then, just in case. Because Vet Jari has been doing a great job. So we're also going to increase her skill level. Hopefully that will help. Mechanic research is done. Yes, solar. Oh, that's so exciting. We're working on wind turbines now. Architect Sammy, continue your work with solar panels this time. Maybe that will help us out. Actually, let's do, let's do shops. We need to feed these people. Food and drink shops, let's do it. Um, Souvenir shop. I want just a momento. Let's get some souvenir shops going. Speaking of shops, I need to have more going on with our little information center. People are really happy with it. We earn a good bit of money from it and it sells audio guides. Adoption packs, cheap. Adoption packs, normal, and expensive adoption packs. Uh, we also have umbrellas in case it rains. That's so cool. That's so fun. Let's raise the price on the audio guide to like $5. There we go. And then you can do adoption packs where people can just straight up adopt the animals. That's so fun. There's a lot of good profit from this, from the little information center, even though it looks so ugly because we haven't put walls on it yet. One day I will. 
I'm just glancing quickly. Uh, yep, I could do just a quick... No, 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 no. Let's see, wooden plank. So you can just, like, come in and, like, slap some wooden planks on it and then come over. And you can actually, like, latch pieces in place, like so, I'm pretty sure, which is very useful. Like this, see? And like that on the back. And then what I need is to be able to come into the front with this, but I don't think they'll let me. So if I exit that, interesting. Look at that! I just made myself my very own cool little building. I actually thought that was going to be really hard and like kind of beyond me. So I actually feel really good that I was able to do that on my own. Change the tile to green. Wow, I feel really good about that. I was super ready to be intimidated left and right about how you decorate and how you build in Planet Zoo. But the more I just grab a piece of bamboo and I'm like, you're getting in the ground, sucker. <laughs> like, boom. The less intimidated I am. And the more comfortable I feel with just jumping in here and making the zoo of my dreams. So, all right, all of that said, let's focus on animals that go into ground exhibits since we're having such a hard time really making progress with the small exhibit uh, animals. So let's see, oh, vet research is done. Unts, 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 even more collected on the peafowl. Oh yeah, keep that breeding going. Oh yeah, hopefully we'll have more babies. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we could get from the trade center. All right, animal market. You are just ripping me to pieces, you know. All right, so we've got a bazillion ostriches. So I could get more ostriches <laughs> and just have them breeding. We already have the peafowl. Do I just need to get more peafowl? More dogs! Can my warthogs go in with the others? Zoopedia. They can go in with my ostriches and antelopes. Oh, I wouldn't even have to get a whole new thing. That would be so useful. All right, so warthogs are an option. Let's come down on the price. Come along here, come along here. Let's see what we have. The inspector has arrived at my zoo. So warthogs. We'll add that to a list of potential things to adopt whilst we twiddle our thumbs and wait to be able to do more. Warthogs have a lot of babies, so that would be really useful. There's another warthog. I'm noticing the boys are always cheaper because your females are the ones who are going to be like having sable antelope. Oh, I would love to have a sable antelope. Oh my gosh, would I ever love to have a sable antelope. And if we find another low-cost female, I may buy another peafowl, because our peafowl garden is definitely something to be proud about. My goodness, ostriches are kind of like a dime a dozen. All right, come on. Keep going, keep going. Go. Okay, more male. Female ostrich! Wow, worth 80? Should I try selling one of my female ostriches? I should try selling one of my males. I don't need two males. And we're kind of desperate. But they're all kind of part of my family now. Okay, there's a sable antelope. Warthog. There's a Nile monitor. I kind of want to adopt some Nile monitors. Can we get a female warthog? Let's see. Female. Oh, actually, we can see the female animals right here. We can have more female ostriches, which would be probably a good idea. This one's only six years old and only 35, so that's tempting. <gasps> a pronghorn antelope! Oh my goodness! And the common warthog would be 150. Ah! Ah, they're so expensive! Why are you all so expensive? Oh my gosh, and this one doesn't even have any fertility. How dare you! It would be like 200 in order to afford any of these ones. All right, we're going all in. We're going all in on ostriches. We're going to adopt these two females because they're only six years old. All right. Adopt. No, it's no longer available. Oh, geez. We barely got this one in here in time. This is hard. This is like very competitive, you guys. 
Get on in here, lovely. Jeez, we'll go ahead and rename her. And then... Oh, gotcha, come on. What's wrong with your habitat? The temperature? You should be okay, dear. Stay over in the cool area. Okay, you're getting better. You're getting better. And the plants make you mad? Oh, I accidentally slipped too many plants in here somehow. Alright, we'll remove... We'll remove one of these. There we go. Is that better, Gotcha? Queen Gotcha. We're gonna rename her to Queen Gotcha, mind you. She's still mad about the plants. Too many, she says. Too many. Did I put some? Oh, I wonder if these count as being in her habitat. So let's scoot them further away. There we go. Is that better? Your Majesty? Getting better. She's really perturbed about that. Uh, what if I remove that one? There. Now Her Majesty is somewhat appeased. 20% plants. Too many things. I like the broken cherry blossom gotcha. Like, work with me here. Work with me here. Welfare back up in the high end. And then she gets a little overheated again. Interesting. How's our heat map? I wonder if the heat is changing as time goes on. There's so much to focus on. Oh, she's too cold. Oh. I see. So now it is actually too chilly for her. Okay. Let's grab this and we'll move it over here so that it has a different range. And then we'll see if we can work with that. Ah, it's so dark. There. We can, oh, we can up the quality of her meal now that we've done research on them. There's so much to manage in this. Can you believe it? We don't even have any bedding. I need to get them some good bedding so that they can they can relax. Uh, and quality food, we can do grade two quality on their food. Man, there's just so much to cover. All right, if I come to all, here's their bedding. Habitat bedding of medium. Well, they're small animals, so we can put down some fresh bedding under here. There, I can't even see it, but I know it's there in my heart. <laughs> This is so cool, you guys. I can't believe I built a little cover to my little shop. I can't believe that, like, my my peafowl are so cranky. And we have a new ostrich. Where is she? There's Mia. Bulldog. All right, where is she? Jenonine! I think you're the new one. And we are going to rename you after one of you guys to... Give me just a moment... <laughs> all right hang on all right I'm, I'm i'm pulling up names that won't work all right here we go to nala so thank you very much for the name suggestion of nala slogan i am very excited uh to go ahead and have nala come join us she is a very popular ostrich so hopefully she will be having many babies but i think it's about the point where we might start speeding things up a little bit and seeing what happens when we get things moving a little bit faster we might even add in some more exhibits even if i cannot for the freaking life of me figure out how on earth to make it i just i just can't like i can't figure out how to make it so that we can get better exhibits going but i think we'll get some exhibits just to kind of pull people in get some money we'll make like a little leafy treasury like a little leafy jungle that people can walk through and see the treasures of the jungle which i think would be pretty cool and uh we'll continue learning how to improve things because i am freaking loving this oh and we need to put down more places where people can throw away their trash and recycling truly sad truly sad i'll say all right let's put this one over here there we go yeah, there is a lot to manage. Chips was actually laughing tonight at dinner and he was like, how much is there? Like, is it just watching cute animals or is there actually like tycoon management to it? Oh my love, is there ever some tycoon management to it? But all right guys, we'll start speeding things up and we will start adding in more animals next time. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Yes, we got more research done on the PFL. Keep going. Hopefully they'll breed like, like bunnies. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.